Thank you for joining today's webinar. As you may already be aware, Internio is now offering direct database access to our financial data through Snowflake's platform. Today I'm going to show you how our integration with Snowflake will work and what makes Snowflake different from our existing API and how Snowflake looks in action. We'll have a Q&A session at the end and there's a Q&A interface in your webinar client. Feel free to post your questions there as you think of them and we'll address them at the end of the session. For anyone who's unfamiliar with Snowflake, here's a quick primer. Snowflake is a data platform that leverages data warehousing technology and the cloud to help users handle large amounts of data efficiently. Users can write SQL queries to get exactly the data they need. Snowflake uses a massively parallel compute architecture that can process SQL queries on vast amounts of data, which can be difficult or impossible with traditional single instance databases. We're making Internio's datasets available through Snowflake so that users who are currently retrieving data through our API can have another access option. Most of our customers use our API for one or two things, to directly power an application or to transfer data into a database for further analysis. If you fall into the second category, Snowflake can open up a lot of possibilities. You can access Snowflake's data warehouses directly, writing SQL queries to get the exact data you need. A little later in this webinar, I'll demonstrate some use cases where Snowflake's capabilities are particularly useful. But first, let's talk about why we chose to integrate with Snowflake. Here's a rundown of benefits our customers will get with direct database access. Direct database access can be much more straightforward than API access. When you're working with our API, complex filtering isn't always possible. You have to download the entire possible data set, put it into your system, and then run a query against your database. Snowflake lets you skip a step and run that query without copying the data into your own system. You still have the ability to transfer the data into internal databases needed, but you can also use Snowflake's interface to save time and effort. Direct database access lets you query tons of additional data sets without an integration. Plus, since you can make queries in SQL, there's not a huge learning curve. We'll walk you through the process of connecting to Snowflake, but you can start writing SQL queries immediately. Direct database access allows you to scan terabytes of data to find exactly what you're looking for within seconds. This isn't something you can easily do with an API, CSV, or data frames. You get the benefit of massive amounts of data plus the control advanced filtering. Whether you want 10 results or 10,000, you can really zero in on the data you want. You can also export the data once your query is processed. While this advanced filtering comes at a cost of speed compared to our API, the queries still run fairly fast. Snowflake accomplishes this by having many copies of the data in distributed formats so that many kinds of queries can be run very quickly. All of that is kept in cold storage, whereas databases keep it in memory or in easily accessible storage on one machine. When you make a query, Snowflake retrieves the data required from the storage layer to satisfy the query. Once it's retrieved, the data is cached in Snowflake for a time to improve performance of future queries. Every business's system is different, so we offer different options for Snowflake integration. If you're already a Snowflake customer, we can share data with you instantly. With a few clicks, we can give you permission to access the desired data set, and you can get started with it right away. We can also set up private access to our Snowflake database for you. As I previously mentioned, you can either make queries directly in Snowflake's platform or use your preferred database access tool. Snowflake bills itself as a data platform as a service, eliminating, eliminating the administration and management requirements of traditional data platforms. That means you can focus on the data without having to worry about infrastructure, optimizations, availability, or security. We can also manage the size of the data warehouse you're attached to, so if you're making a lot of queries, you don't lose speed and performance. Snowflake's architecture is fully distributed across multiple availability zones. Its system is designed to tolerate hardware and other failures with minimal impact to users. We understand the importance of always having access to the data you need, 
and the business consequences of not having access to that data at a critical moment, which is why it was so important for us to find a platform that's reliable. The easiest data sources to use are the ones that integrate with your existing tools. You'll be able to integrate Snowflake with other database tools and business analysis or business intelligence tools like Tableau. Snowflake offers native and standard-based connections that enable developers to use a variety of languages and frameworks, including ODBC, JDBC, Python, Spark, R, Node.js, and more. Essentially, anything that can integrate with a database can be used with Snowflake. Now I'm going to show you some interesting queries that show off what you could do with Snowflake. Here is the Snowflake web interface where you can run queries. Uh, you can also connect to Snowflake with your favorite database tools such as uh, DataGrip and run SQL queries there. Now this first query I'm going to show you accesses our option prices database, which contains daily prices and volumes of options contracts traded in the U.S. markets. Now, this query is going to tell us in the uh, past 10 years of history, what is the most traded options symbol or, or most traded stock that, that uh, you know, by options price contracts. So in a traditional database, it would be very challenging to complete this query because it has to uh, scan the entire data set. But with Snowflake's massively parallel processing architecture, this query runs fairly quickly. So to answer the question, the S&P 500 ETF has been the, uh, the most highly traded in the options markets, followed by Apple, uh, the volatility index, some more ETFs, uh, Bank of America, Facebook, GE, Gold, Microsoft, Amazon, as you can imagine, the, uh, the big players. So if you need to run an aggregate, even a complex aggregate across many billions of rows, this table has uh, 1.8 billion. Snowflake is a perfect tool for doing so. Let's run another query. Now, before I run this query, I'd like you to take a guess in your head as to what the results will be. So the question I've posed is uh, how much is traded on the U.S. equity exchanges every day. What's what's the dollar amount that I, that is exchanged per day? Is it is it a billion dollars? Is it a trillion dollars? Hard to tell. So here with Snowflake, I'm querying the stock prices table. I'm grouping by date, and I'm running an aggregate to add up the volume multiplied by the close, setting as the total traded dollars. All right, you got your guesses? Let's take a look. Turns out it's about 300 billion per day. Fairly consistently. So that's an interesting factoid. Now, of course, in doing equity analysis or quantitative analysis, these, these queries are just uh, uh, sort of for fun. Um, you can let your imagination run wild as to um, what kind of queries you can run for your own analysis. And here's a very simple query that you could run against a traditional database. Um, scanning our database of companies, I'd like to find companies that are in California that are categorized as computer software and services and are traded on the OTC exchange. So here's that list. So Snowflake can function as a traditional database uh, as well. You can import your security master into it and uh, join multiple data sets together and run uh, some fairly complicated queries. And now I'm going to open up the floor for questions. So here I have a question from Pablo. Do you support adjusted prices for more than 10 years in the beginning of 2000, including delisted securities? Uh, Internio does have a data set for uh, adjusted prices going back to, I believe, 1960, 
including delisted securities. So we would be able to easily load that into Snowflake for you. Yes. Any other questions? Also, if you'd like to uh, speak, you can um, uh, raise your hand through the chat, through the webinar interface, and I can uh, turn on your microphone. All right, uh, thank you everyone for attending this webinar. If you have any questions at all, please visit our website and chat with us. We're happy to answer your questions, set up a demo, and uh, help you get started with Snowflake. Oh, one question from Valentin. What's the price of using uh, Snowflake? So their pricing model is based on seconds used by a, a compute um, server. So whenever I run a query, one of the servers spins up, processes the query, and then spins down. However many seconds the query took to run is uh, added up at the end of the month and billed as credits. It's about uh, $3 per hour. So if you ran queries uh, consistently back to back, you know, you, you could do the math. And um, there are various configurations of servers, you know, you could you could have 10 servers running, $30 an hour if you want to do massive amounts of data. Uh, as far as how Intrinio would, um, you know, set up a billing arrangement, you know, it would be very flexible. You, we would uh, we would bear some of the costs, or if you'd like, you could bear the cost directly. It would just be a matter of talking with our sales team to figure out uh, what works for you. I think it could be pretty reasonable um, since you uh, depending on your load if you want to run a few queries here and there that can be extremely cost effective uh, because you only are uh, we're only charged for the the time that the queries ran but uh, you know I think probably better to reach out to our sales team and and see um, what kind of range they come up with but it is very flexible question from Dane I'm used to using MySQL Workbench. Would Snowflake replace that? Uh, well, it depends. You could use the Snowflake Workbench and uh, write standard SQL against Snowflake. Um, you could uh, probably connect Snowflake to MySQL Workbench. I, th I think they may be possible since it's just a database access tool. I'm not entirely sure if MySQL Workbench connects to other databases besides MySQL, but uh, I, imagine, I imagine it does. Any other questions or would anyone like to speak? All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Oh, I'm sorry. One more question. How do we access Intrinio Snowflake? So there are two ways. Uh, if you're interested in becoming a Snowflake customer, if you already are a Snowflake customer, there's a very simple sharing mechanism that we set up where uh, the data sets on our end would magically show up on your end. They call it data sharing. 
Uh, if you're not a Snowflake customer, we simply set up a reader account where you would be able to have a Snowflake login and a SQL connection string. You don't have to log in a Snowflake. You can just use a SQL connection string. That would grant you access to whatever data, internal databases we set up for your account. Uh, so it's very flexible. Uh, does that answer the, the question or, or is it unclear? Awesome. Another question from Dane. Thank you for all these questions, by the way. So if we have been using the API, this would replace that. It can if you uh, prefer, but you can also use it in addition to the API if you have existing applications that integrate with the API and those are working fine, you can leave those be. Um, and then if you have a new use case or a new project, we recommend uh, considering direct database access via Snowflake. It might be um, significantly easier to integrate and significantly more powerful. Our API is structured uh, in a way that can allow many users to hit it at once relentlessly and to access um, a good amount of data, but the filtering mechanisms are, are limited. Um, and so, uh, being able to write a SQL query against a, a table removes all those limitations. I mean, we wouldn't be able to do that with our existing databases, but with Snowflake, uh, that's what it's built for. It's uh, massively parallel reads um, that are non-blocking. Does that help to answer the question? Fantastic. I'll, uh, I'll leave the Q&A open for a few more minutes here. If you have any other questions, feel free to post them. If you'd like to uh, ask a question, I'll uh, um, uh, allow your uh, uh, microphone here. All right, thank you everybody.